Hi guys, it's Daniel Alton. We're here in Lahore, Pakistan, at my home. As a matter of fact, I do not want to live in Pakistan as it is not a free country. I want to live in the West because the West is freedom and the West is the best. I want to live in Canada or the United States of America. I want to have a flat in downtown Toronto with over a 1200 books and a fridge full of chocolate and Nutella and uh, chocolate and chocolate Nutella chicken and rice I want that to be in my fridge I want to own a small flat there apart from that <clears throat> I want to do a degree I want to do a PhD in one subject out of the ones I'm gonna uh, talk about either in sociology psychology philosophy anthropology or English literature and as a matter of fact I want to get this degree done uh, from the University of Toronto I want to um, do a PhD in English literature or philosophy from the University of Toronto in Canada and I want to live a peaceful life in Canada and I want to have a small flat in Toronto uh, Canada where I can live a peaceful life away from this screwed up country where there is religious intolerance no freedom of speech and oppression and injustice everywhere you go Canada is a free country which welcomes people from all walks of lives you know I emailed the uh, Prime Minister uh, um, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada a couple of months ago telling me him about my condition having obsessive compulsive disorder and schizophrenia so they forwarded my email to the refugee and immigration people because the Prime Minister doesn't have that much time to listen to everyone you know obviously he's the Prime Minister so he won't have time to listen to everyone that's an obvious thing actually so that's what I did but I am thinking of leaving Pakistan I want to pack up my laptop clothes passport books the important books that I have which I like and love and I want to get the hell out of Pakistan and live in Canada a peaceful life away from all these compulsions and voices which have screwed me like anything you'd be knowing about them if you watch my previous videos so I want to live a peaceful life in Canada for a couple of years I want to read uh, a couple of hundred books and do a degree from the University of Toronto after that I want to publish my book from Penguin I really like the Pe Penguin publishers you know I like books which are published by Penguin I like Penguin otherwise as well so <clears throat> I want to live in Canada and I want to get my book published there as it can't be published here because Canada is a free country so I want to get my book published there and live a peaceful life there and become an author and enjoy my fame away from all the sufferings of this country and of the world and become a famous world renowned author and sell as much as Harry Potter which is and sell like more than maybe 500 million copies and my net worth should be 1.5 billion dollars yeah apart from that I want to travel all around the globe all around the world signing books um, and uh, meeting people giving lectures giving a lecture at Harvard I want to uh, give lectures I want to uh, sign books I want to travel the world I want to meet people I want to see places and all that stuff 
to give you a background again i have here voices in schizophrenia in compulsions or in obsessive compulsive disorder i have to do things again and again like closing switches and taps and going to places again and again on all that bullshit anyways so i want to really live in canada because it's a free country but not in pakistan it's 5 in the morning here in lahore pakistan and i'm thinking about the west which is the united states of america and canada and i'm just wishing why can't i just live there why do i have to live in this screwed up country pakistan where there is religious intolerance no freedom of speech and everything is just screwed up uh, i don't know though actually I'll have to write to the uh, Prime Minister of Canada again, requesting me to give an asylum, a political asylum, so that I can live in Canada. I haven't been sleeping all night long, and I've been up making videos, and I'm very sleepy right now. I had a um, jug, a, f a glass full of chocolate milk, and I'm feeling sick after having that, but I shouldn't be having. sugary stuff because i'm pre diabetic and i'm getting sick today is the now the 25th of um august 2022 and it's uh, my birthday in a couple of days time i'll be celebrating one in lahore and one in islamabad after that i have to go to the bookshop before that and do a couple of compulsions and then off i go to islamabad and then i want to go to, uh, abroad somewhere but i can't even go to the west i can't go to america because they won't give me the visa i won't won't get the canadian visa or citizenship because i've screwed that up myself i can only go to other countries i can't go to america or canada i can't even go to the uk united kingdom or any european countries i can only go to the far east like thailand or singapore or malaysia or cambodia or philippines or indonesia and stuff like that i can't go anywhere else it's really terrible My Canadian immigration got f screwed up in 2013 when I, when uh, when um, we lost it. And the day we came to Pakistan, that was the day when our PR card permit was going to expire and it sucked like anything. So it's just terrible. So I don't know what to do though. I have to read a lot of lot of lot of books. I'm going to go wild. I'm going to get money on my birthday birthday and I'm going to go wild in the bookshop buying loads and loads and loads and loads of books to read and I will become a writer and I will be the world's best author and I will be a great writer and I'm telling you if you say something the whole universe conspires to getting it to you and that is what will happen i will become a great writer and i will sell millions and billions of copies and that's what's going to happen i can feel it and i'm going to make my country pakistan proud that there's a writer from pakistan who has changed the course of history let's talk about god and religion I don't know what to say though. Uh okay, bye.